Have you ever left one of these grow like this? Well, this is exactly what you need to get some sweet potatoes started in your garden. Just make sure that you start them after spring because they thrive on the heat. So what you do is remove them and just put them in a glass of water until it grows a good amount of roots and then you can transplant them. So that's how these got started but they were given to me from a friend. I started my sweet potatoes last year like this around this time and it was the total disaster i have a video on that i can show you my mistakes but this is a good way to get started and i love doing it this way this bed is full and it's just five starts so five of those little things created all of this and i know i have some sweet potatoes that are ready to harvest are you ready to check it out because i've been waiting for a long time let's move this around so you can see how they start growing because this is really interesting i didn't get a chance to see this last year because i didn't have potatoes to harvest but you can see them right here so if you look at the sweet potato it has this vine that shoots as a root and it becomes a sweet potato it's very different than actual potatoes so let's pull it out and see how big it is. Oh my God, I think it's huge. Wow. Look at my sweet potato. And I want you to see all of the other sweet potatoes that are here. There's one, two, three, four, five in this small spot. I have got a sweet potato. I have got a sweet potato. I'm so excited. It's my very first sweet potato. So now let's go look around and see what else we can find. I'm not planning on harvesting them all because I want to harvest them as I use them, but I want to show you what I see. So the five starts that I put was here. So one, two, three, four, five. And it looks like where the starts are, we have sweet potatoes. Like here's one. And you see all these other vines over here. Well, they don't have any sweet potatoes on them. So let's keep looking over here. I don't think there's that many. See one here. It looks like they're just at the tip, maybe because these didn't get a chance to really get on the ground because they're vining out. I might not have that many. I'm afraid to pull them out because I actually love the look of my sweet potatoes. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to harvest one more. It looks to be small, but just so that we can see what it is but I don't think I have too many. But either way, that was super exciting. So let me show you. This one right here doesn't look, oh, maybe it is big and I thought it was small. This is just as exciting as, oh, as potatoes. Oh, I'm gonna have to use this one already. It's still a really good size. Wow, aren't these beautiful? <laughs> I want to get a big shout out and a big thank you to Alejandra because she's the one that gave me the starts. She came to my first open garden and I'm really appreciative. I hope you give this a try. It's so exciting to figure out what's underneath. It's like unwrapping a present and I can't wait to do it again. Don't forget to check out my Instagram stories because I'm there a lot. I will show you guys how many more potatoes I harvest. I'm gonna try to do some YouTube shorts to get in the groove of showing you guys a little bit more there. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.